cloud and then flurries begin early Wednesday morning. Minus four the high, minus six on Wednesday. It looks like we're going to pick up five centimeters. Thursday and Friday, we're enjoying sunshine at minus seven and minus nine. Your weekend right now, a mix of sun and cloud on Saturday. It looks like snow on Sunday and Monday. Sunny with a daytime high of minus six. A little later on, we're going to talk about the coldest day of the year in Toronto. That's coming up later in the newscast. Thank you, Tom. And in the middle of the winter we're having, and with Tom's forecast for February below normal, you'd think a little heat and sunshine would be an easy sell. But the dollar is down, and that has sent Florida tourism officials north, courting Canadians. CTV's Zoraida Allman reports. Bitter cold, harsh winds, heavy snow. On days like this, look around, and nobody seems to be smiling. Unless, of course... When you're in Orlando and Canada is your number one market, uh, the winter and, and the cold temperatures are an opportunity every year. An opportunity that is perhaps even greater this year. This winter has been a long, hard, cold winter that we recognize. This was over the weekend at the Wyerton Willie Festival, where Orlando Tourism set up what they called a warming zone. The lineups were long. We know that it's a very popular event uh, in Toronto, um, and we wanted to remind them of this great sunny spot here in, in Florida. And they aren't the only ones. SunQuest teamed up with Orlando Tourism to offer a 72-hour Chili Willie deal. Booked by midnight Saturday, and if Wyerton Willie saw his shadow, you got 50 bucks back. These are initiatives that are here in the market at the right time, at the right place. Uh, when people are thinking, you know, I'm fed up with the weather. And based on the numbers, it seems to be working. We've seen that snap where Canadians have said, you know what, I've had enough. So the last two, three weeks, we've seen increasing sales uh, over and above growth patterns. Last year, more than 3.6 million Canadians visited Florida. That number is expected to go up by about 4% in 2014. And if the tourism marketers keep selling the dream during a winter that continues to look like this, that number may just go up even more. Zoraida Allman, CTV News. Tonight on the beach with Brassard. Olympic Games, you face tough courses. The Canadian gold medalist mentors a new crop of Olympians. Jean-Luc Brassard from Sochi tonight on CTV National News. Still ahead, <laughs> laughing your way to a healthier you. You want to really try and make it as genuine as possible until it becomes genuine. Adopting an Eastern practice, getting grounded in happiness. We'll be back with that and an update of tonight's top stories. CTV News continues in two minutes.